Hello and welcome to Data Test Tutorials. I'm Carl and I will guide you through the first steps you need to go in order to get Data Test and in order to use it. First of all, Data Test is, as it's written here, a graphical program for interactive data analysis and processing. The current focus is on electroluminous sense imaging of photovoltaic devices, although the spectrum of usage is a bit broader than just electroluminous sense imaging. You can get data tests from either GitHub or from the Python package index. There are two ways of installing data tests. Way number one is just downloading the release zip file, which looks like this as soon as it's unzipped. If you have this folder, please install the Visual Studio redistributables before you open DataTest. The other method would be to install DataTest using pip. The command for this looks like this pip install minus minus egg DataTest. However, not all dependencies DataTest needs to have are within the Python package index. Therefore, if you want to install it via pip, please have a look at the user manual you find linked on GitHub. And there it is. There you find further instructions about all the packages I need you to install before you can install data test. If you have installed data test via pip, you can just start it with this easy command. If you have install or if you have downloaded the zipped and packaged data test version, just double click on data test. If you start data test for the first time, it asks you about whether you want to have it within the start menu and whether you want to allow it to open DA files with data test. And this thing needs actually admin rights, so that's why if you don't have admin, just unclick it. Also, it wants you to accept the GPL license agreement, which basically tell you that this is open source code, so please treat it with the aspect open source software should get. Okay, and this is all you need to do in order to set up data artists. As soon as you start it for the first time, you will find it on the start menu, and you can open directly all the things you saved from data test from either the start menu or just with clicking on the files itself. Okay. Data test can open many different kinds of files. Of course it can open simple monoscale TIFF files, as you see. This would be an image of a PV module, but it also can open color images. Okay. It can open CSV arrays with the array 2D reader. Okay, this is just random code as you see. Um, you can also open normal plots. For this, there's the plot reader. Okay, this is just another random data. Or multiple plots with the same plot reader. As you see, DataTest could automatically the name of each plot from the file itself. If we look at the file, we will see how it's structured. First the names, then the data. Um, in this case, data is separated with a comma, but DataTest can also find the separator sign from the file itself. DataTest sorts all images within so-called display docs. Okay, So this, for example, is one doc, this is another, and this is doc number three. Okay, Within each doc you can, with the mouse click, easily zoom, with the mouse wheel, uh, move, with the mouse wheel you can zoom. For color images, there's this color bar, here you can just easily intensity range you would like to see. With the right mouse click on this color bar you can also set up the right color scheme. 
I, for example, like this color scheme. If you want to make more space for just the image, you can switch on and off whether you want to see the axis or the color bar. The same goes for plot views, of course. These docs can be moved within data test freely as you want. You can tap them over each other. You can, with a double click, go to full screen. And with escape, you can go back. If you want, you can also pop out one doc and have it on top of your normal programs. And pop it in. Okay, so this is for doc usage. Within these docs, you have a range of different toolbars. Depending on the kind of doc, whether it's an image view doc or plot view doc, you have different toolbars you can choose from. These are the toolbars which are shown in standard for the image view doc. These are the ones that are shown for plot. A few of these tools are quite useful. This, for example, is the crosshair tool. With the crosshair tool, you can easily get the value of an individual pixel. Another tool would be the ruler. With the ruler you can measure things. Of course you can change the color and whether you want to see angle and all kinds of things. You can also link the view of one display to the view of another. Let's try this on the example of this display and this display. Here we click the link tool and we link it to a plot view. Let's see where this works. Well, maybe it's not the best example. We will see more of the link view possibility in another video. If you need help, there are different ways data to drives to help you. There's a shortcut menu which shows you common shortcuts. There is um, an online support page which is empty at the moment, but please feel invited to add new issues, new bugs, new everything that you find that doesn't work within data tools. There are also online tutorials, the first tutorial you just see, and there's the user manual which you already saw, but here it is again. If you go with your mouse to the left side, and then you can move the preference and console bar. In this preference bar you can set for example the title of your doc. Let's call it SSS12AAT. Why not? You can set the size, you can get information about your data layers, in this case, this image is called 100, it is 23 megabytes big, and so on. You get the point. You can also change the name of your axis, for example, xx and yy. Y. Here you have it. You can also say it, set a, a, a wide range of input options. For example, you can decide whether you want to transform your input, input data types into float directly, whether you want to pulse grayscale, whether you want to have your image cropped, and so on. Also, on the bottom of the program, you have the console output. This output saves all the output that is printed from data test itself. Sometimes it contains a few errors at the moment, just Forget about these, at some point they will be gone. This is the end of the first initial video tutorial of DataTist. If you want to find out more, then well, just click on the next videos.